Zambelli Fireworks designers prepare for New Year's Eve shows in two big U.S. cities. Back at their office in Newcastle, Pennsylvania, designer Michael Richards is getting ready. It's Richards' job to choreograph the shows. He starts with Baltimore, Zambelli's largest New Year's Eve display. Unlike Fourth of July programs that are typically red, white, and blue, uh, New Year's Eve will include multitudes of color that you don't typically see on Fourth of July. The combinations are endless, based on a few effect designs. It starts with comets. A comet effect is an effect that is used exclusively to create a trail from the time of ignition to the time of burst. We refer to them as silver tails. The end of this comet reveals a red crosset. It's a shell packed with red comets that split into more comets, leaving tails in the sky. Sometimes you want the shells to rise out of the mortar tubes without any indication that something's going to be breaking and opening in the sky. So the shells go up dark, and then all of a sudden the sky lights up into a multitude of colors. This is a chrysanthemum, named for the flower it resembles. It's a round shell packed with stars, comets that leave no tails. This is a brocade willow, or a golden camaru, finishing in purple stars. When designing a show, Richards uses a custom program to lay out its soundtrack and duration first. I like to start at the end and produce the grand finale segment of the show first. Then I do the opening afterwards, and then I go back through and choreograph and design the balance of the program afterwards. You always have to consider the tempo of the music, and you want to also consider not doing too much of one particular color for segment after segment. Of course, no finale is complete without the titanium salutes, and uh, that's what makes the show's endings always special, is to be able to feel the power of the fireworks. In the end, Richards produces a script of thousands of timed effects that workers use to pack the show for assembly on site. The show for Baltimore New Year's Eve is 18 minutes long. I have a pretty exciting show planned for everyone. The first barge will sit in Baltimore's inner harbor, closest to downtown. Here, Zambellis will launch their low-rise effects, Roman candles that shoot stars no higher than 175 feet. On the other two barges, they'll fire the remaining thousands of shells to heights as high as 800 feet. It's all based on the size of the shell, as Bill Michael explains. A five-inch shell, as a general rule, will launch about 500 feet in the air. It's generally about 100 feet per inch, along with the spread. And you use various size shells to get a layered effect. That's an eight inch, about 800 feet in the air, with about a spread about 800 feet. This wind blows so hard, it's so cold, you can already think straight. The crew's been setting up in Baltimore for two weeks to ensure everything goes as planned. Uh, be next. Now, New Year's Eve has finally arrived. What, it's showtime. <laughs> 